Wang Lianfang's family collapsed. The days do not go by in order. It is slow when it should be slow, but fast when it should be fast. It was only a few days. Wang Lianfang's home fell like this. On the surface, of course, nothing can be seen. Bricks are in the room. Needles and threads are on the bed. But Yumi knows that her home has collapsed. The good thing is that Shi Guifang did not see anything about Wang Lianfang from beginning to end. Shi Guifang didn't say anything, just kept burping. As a woman, Shi Guifang lost two layers of face this time. She slept for several days, and when she got up, the person was scattered. This time, the looseness is different from the one after giving birth. In the end, that kind of looseness, after all, is a component of showing off. It's her own looseness, going with the water. Now there's a taste of the boat against the current, needing to fight the spirit. Had to exert a lot of effort, barely, like the rancid smell when she opens her mouth to speak. Yumi's greatest fear now was talking to her mother. The words that came out of her mouth were like the burps that must have been composing for too long. What also chills Yumi is Yu Sui. The little bitch is too cheap. At this age, she still has the face to play shuttlecock with Zhang Weijun's daughter, but every time to lose to her. Zhang Weijun's daughter is a small person with a small face, small nose, small eyes, and small lips, thin and clamorous. The Zhangs is indeed not a good thing. How come the shuttlecock she plays is a shuttlecock? It's just the grass chicken feathers. Yu Sui is willing to lose to her and seems to be born to eat indoors and feed outdoors. Yumi can see right through her. Yumi sees everything in her eyes, but is more calm than Yuro. Even if Peng Guoliang did not fly a PLA airplane in the sky, Yumi could not grow cheap bones like Yu Sui. The people who are despised are asking for it. Yumi runs right, walks right. She can even lock that pass to Peng Guoliang, but is afraid of others. Yumi is still holding Wang Hongbing, wandering all day in the village. When Wang Lianfang was the branch secretary, how other people live? She, Yumi, can live the same. Wang Yumi's Wang is placed everywhere, three horizontal plus a vertical. The past is not out of the head, and now the tail does not fall either. The most that Yumi looked down on are still those a few stinky bitches. In the past, when her father slept with them, they were all like stinky tofu, having a hole with every chopstick pole. Now it's good. Every single one of them is adjusted and has taken themselves as roasted meat. Qin Hongxia came back. The little slut went back to her mother's home with her child after the accident for tens of days. Returning to the village, Qin Hongxia's face was red and white, seemed like having a birth break in her mother's home. She has the face to come back. There is no cover on the river, but she did not have the guts to jump down and dared not to make a show. Qin Hongxia was walking on the bridge, but making an embarrassed look, as if the whole village men married her together. When Qin Hongxia was almost down the bridge, a lot of women were secretly looking at Yumi. Yumi knew they were looking at her. They wanted to see how Yumi faced this matter and the person. Qin Hongxia came over. Yumi was holding Wang Hongbin, stood up, exchanged hands, and went to her initiatively. Yumi smiled and said loudly, "Aunt Hongxia, you're back." All of them heard it. In the past, Yumi had always called Qin Hongxia Sister Hongxia, but now she called her Aunt, which meant something extraordinarily deep and long, with a hint that was hard to say. The women did not understand at first, but just one look at Qin Hongxia's face and realized the Yumi's narrowness and sophistication. Also, it was watertight. Qin Hongxia smiled at Yumi in a very twisted, rather ugly way. Any woman who was not stupid would never smile like that. Wang Lianfang intends to learn a trade, a family of young and old with tens of mouths to be fed. From this year's fall, 
there will be no more dividends like in previous years. Wang Lianfang doesn't have the strength to do farm work with the members of the community, mainly because he can't afford to lose face. Wang Lianfang has a basic understanding of himself. Although not a secretary anymore, he has slept with so many women in his life. Enough. It is worth it. If went back to be with his old subordinates together, carrying dung, digging moisture ditch, planting rice, and cutting wheat, it would be very unorthodox. The proper way is to learn a trade in a hurry. Wang Lianfang has done very thorough thinking. He often holds a cigarette in one hand, the other on his waist. Stood in front of the world map and map of the People's Republic of China, put the barrel maker, pig killer, cobbler, gabion maker, blacksmith, coppersmith, tinsmith, carpenter, and tiler together to synthesize, compare, analyze, study. After the rough to extract the essence, removing the false and saving the truth from the inside to the outside, from the phenomenon to the essence, and then linked to his own body, age, energy, prestige, and so on, he decided to become a lecturer. Lecturer has several advantages. It doesn't take much effort, so he can bear it. Two. Technically, it's not too difficult, as long as applying it with big red and green without exposing the wood, it won't be difficult after all. Three, the cost is low, just a brush. Unlike a carpenter, saws, planers, axes, chisels, hammers, a set of dozens of them. Four, learned the craft. He can make a living outside all day long instead of staying in one village, out of sight, out of mind. And mentally, it will be easier to deal with. Five, the painter is still decent after all. With his status, doing dirty things like killing pigs will make people feel chilled after seeing him. Lacquerer is different after all, as with one brush red and one brush green. From a distance, it looks like working in publicity. After making up his mind, Wang Lianfang felt that his policy was relatively close. To materialism.